When it comes to filling a more traditional badass role in the hero list of Overwatch, McCree is one of those number one dudes, the gunslinger from the Wild West. Uh, Chris Waters here, folks, with Mike Mahardy, here to talk you through the basics of this gunslinger and how to do the damage with uh, his big magnum, the Peacekeeper, Mike. Yeah, this thing's awesome, not only because it can be really powerful, but it's also pretty accurate if you're skilled with him. He's a skilled character, or you have to be skilled to play him at least, and you can fan the hammer up close, you can shoot it from far away, obviously you have six shots. Uh, there's a way to, you know, to reload it instantly with a dodge roll. He's a really dirty character overall, which is why I really like him. He can function solo on his own, and the Peacekeeper is kind of the catalyst for all of that. He does some dirty stuff on the flank for sure, but let's start with the basics. The Peacekeeper has two fire modes. You can fire single shots, up to six, or you could fan the hammer and just unload all the bullets that are left in your clip uh, in one go. The, f the single shot is really solid for doing damage on the main objective. You know, you're 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 picking off heroes, you're hassling supports at, you know, mid-range. And yeah, you do need to land your shots. So if you're not super confident landing those shots, you know, you're going to want to ease into McCree. But uh, the fan the hammer is where things start getting really dirty. That's him unloading real quick. When's the best time to use that, Mike? It's really good against anyone, really. It's harder to control, but it's awesome for taking out tanks. You can go into a room and just fan the hammer. If you land all six shots, you can take out Roadhog. You can take out Reinhardt. You can take out Diva's mech. It's really powerful. It's also kind of overpowered if you know how to use it really well. If you can do one and then his uh, dodge roll, the combat roll ability, instantly reloads it. Mm -hmm. So you can fan the hammer, all six shots, kill a, you know, best case scenario, kill a Roadhog. Dodge roll automatically there's no reload animation the gun's just ready to go fan the hammer six more times kill any other character and especially with tanks they're easy to hit with all those six shots right but you do have to be pretty close for those shots to all land on the character and so when you're in close mccree is not actually a very fast character and so you rely on one big key ability to help arrest the mobility of others and that's the flashbang the flashbang is awesome it's my favorite part because it's such a great counter to almost anyone like the bigger characters you don't need it as much but if you're going against reaper or tracer or diva in her pilot form traditionally elusive characters it's mm -hmm. great it stuns them fan the hammer is going to kill anybody in that state it's also a great chance to get away if you need to if you're kind of too close to reaper for comfort it's a great escape mechanism as well yeah the flashbang and fan the hammer combo is where mccree goes to town so be very comfortable with that the combat roll for the quick reload then you can fan the hammer right again if you need to if you missed some of your shots or if you're taking on a tank and you need a little extra help Important to keep in mind that McCree also doesn't have a ton of health, so one Widowmaker shot and you're going to be in trouble. So you, even though you can heckle her at range, that's really not a fight you want to pick. You want to stay on those flanks. McCree does best when he's one on one, and that's where you want to do your business. Now let's talk about his ultimate, Deadeye. Deadeye is tough to master, but if you know how to use it, it is deadly. So uh, how do you use it? So it's best to activate it kind of when you're in cover so you because he walks even slower than his normal really slow pace mm -hmm. you can come around a corner and you'll take about two seconds to zero in on anybody in your sight and then even when they go behind cover you'll still have the target on them but when you decide to pull the trigger is pretty crucial because you want to make sure all these red skulls you're seeing which indicate you're about to kill them no matter what character with one shot you want to make sure they're not behind cover so you can maximize how many people you kill the reason you do it from behind cover is because whenever you activate it mccree goes it's high noon, and everyone on the map starts looking around, trying to find McCree. And also, you start glowing a little bit orange, so you are easy to spot. So that's why if you're out of vi easy visual range, and then you kind of saunter around the corner, that's a good way to sort of avoid getting yourself shot, because McCree's ultimate is very interruptible. So if you're a Widowmaker, a Hanzo, uh, you know, any kind of precision shot getting close, try to take out that McCree. If you're a Winston, if you're a May, if you're Reinhardt, get up your shield, get up your ice wall. Those are counters to McCree's ultimate because this is potentially the most powerful ultimate in the game. But yeah, you trade a lot of damage for even more vulnerability than he usually has. All right, thanks, Mike. That is McCree for you, folks. Deadly on the flanks in one-on-one -on -one with those flashbang fan the hammer engagements and also a pretty dirty dude down the main lane uh, with his ultimate and with his mid-range peacekeeping abilities. For more Overwatch tips, be sure to subscribe to GameSpot and come on back. We'll have a whole roster for you here soon enough.